now we're coming to the end of your mm. position as main mm. chair. We will miss you dearly. Oh, um, bless you, love. Um, yes. But what have you enjoyed most about being chair at Havar? I just love doing it, right? I absolutely love being chair at Havar. I've enjoyed it all. It's been fantastic. It's been such a wonderful experience. And what's really good is seeing where Havar has moved on, it's grown. Uh, we're doing more and more stuff which makes a difference and an impact on people's lives. You know, the financial advice and stuff like that. But of course it's getting in there. And it's that sense that people who have got a serious mental illness have also now got a voice in how they're treated and how they're looked after and the kind of care they get. It's wonderful. Fantastic. Is there anything in the time you've been chair that you've ever regretted or that you found really difficult? Or what are the things that you know really you struggled with? The things I've struggled with are the insecurity of funding, that we don't have continuity of funding. We have to go with the begging bowl every two or three years and we don't know what we're going to get. And that insecurity is so bad for the people we are working with, it's so bad for an organisation. We have worked incredibly hard to overcome those insecurities and to find better ways of funding ourselves so we can ensure core funding. And of course, getting you is part of that. But we've been lucky in getting the support we have from, for example, the Big Lottery, from Lloyds Bank, from our other very generous funders, and from Welsh Government. But the way in which you've got to fight all the time to do stuff you know desperately needs to do, that's really hard. And closing projects down, ending jobs for people who are so vulnerable, that's an awfully tough thing to do. I've hated doing that. Mm. Had to do with them. Yeah. How, um, how do you think your own personal experience of being a carer and a wife to someone with serious mental illness, how has that played out, being in the chair? How is that important to being in that role? It's the whole reason why I became chair of Harvard, because my husband had schizophrenia. I saw how appalling the care was that he had. I experienced how carers are treated myself. It's why I'm here. It's why I've gone on being here. And it's why I'll always be here for Harvard, because I know the help I had from them. I know how much it meant to me. So that's why it, 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 it's our personal experience. It's why you're here, Mary. Really. You know, it's why we're all here. <laughs> but it means that we speak with experience and with authority as people who live this thing. The last question. I'm taking over from you. And you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any advice that you can give me? I'm going to get I've watched you being a trustee. I've watched you cope with your own demons. And I know how wonderful you are. I know what a brilliant trustee you've been. I am delighted to hand over the chair to have to you. And I'm also delighted that you are rather less than one third of my age, guys. <laughs> so you've got many, many years in which you can support Hala and contribute to it. <laughs> Have you got any questions for me? How do you get to be so good, so young? <laughs> a secret, that's a secret. <laughs> oh, well, one day I'll look it out, I'm sure. <laughs>